Ready, ladies and gentlemen, because we have, without doubt, the greatest band in rock and roll history to be called McFly. <laughs> yes, it's McFly, there they are. Yeah. McFly back together on the couch. It's been a long time, guys. I've had these guys on before. They're always so much fun. Uh, while they were still teenagers, though, they became the youngest band to have a number one debut album. That's incredible, isn't it? They took the title off the Beatles. They've had seven UK number ones. They've had five top ten albums and ten million records have been sold. I'm thrilled they're back together. Before they come and join me out on the couch, let's remind ourselves of some of their biggest hits. McFly. I'll be honest, I love them. It's Tom, Danny, Dougie and Harry McFly. Yeah. Come on out, guys. Do you want me here? Well, welcome back. Just looking back at those videos, I forgot how young you were when you started. How is it for you guys looking back at your teenage selves? Bad hair wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's really cringeful. Um, <laughs> I mean, what were we thinking? Well, you were kids. How old were we there? I, I was literally, I was 15 there. Aww. That was our first ever, like, pap shot. You can tell. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, Dougie, you do look quite scared there. Terrified, absolutely yeah. terrified. Danny's got the point going on. Yeah, yeah he knows yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'll do. First yeah. pap shot. So you were the young, you were the youngest. <laughs> oh, I guess you still are. But I mean, you were. <laughs> 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 no, we overtook us. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even tell. Um, and did the others look out for you? Were you like elder brothers to him, or, or were you all sort of terrified? No, oh, yeah, they all. Um... Well, I left left home as well. So I met these guys when I was fifteen. Left home, moved into a house with these guys. Um, and they taught me all the things I guess like fathers and uncles should have done. Like Danny taught me how to get into clubs. You know, yeah, um, yeah. Mate, yeah walking. <laughs> <laughs> well done, uh, Doug. <laughs> actually, no, I don't know. I don't know if that actually ever worked. Um, you know, they taught me how to shave. Uh, Harry taught me how to roll spliffs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all the cute uh, stuff. Harry. So you're, you're more like an uncle one. figure then, oh. not so much a father figure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who taught? Sorry, who taught you to shave? Uh, I think that was you. That was me too. Harry's yeah. always had a beard. Yeah. Oh, how sweet though. And what? So you did take one side and said, like, you know, you go with the grain. You don't yeah, against the grain. Yeah, sure. And... We did. Um, yeah, we taught you a lot. Okay, so McBusted happened in 2014, and as you know, I was a big fan of Busted. I genuinely love him because my kids loved it, and we listened to it all the time. I love McFly as well. So it was quite a. It was a great thing when you guys got together, and you had fun as well, didn't you? Yeah, it was amazing. Oh yeah, it was incredible. I guess what was strange was that we, at that point, had been a band for 10, 11 years. Yeah. And so suddenly having two new band members who are, our, you know, our good friends, our best friends, it does change the dynamic of us four. Yeah. Suddenly having two new people with you on, mm. on stage. And so how, how did it change? So were some of you who were close before not as close anymore? Or The, the hardest time, I think, as a, as a collective was when was after when McBusted ended. Because we kind of knew that they were going to get back together, that Charlie was going to come back. And we hadn't really spoken about what was next for McFly. So they, it ended, and then there was this uncertainty. We didn't really know what we were going to do, and we hadn't been... We'd been the stereotypical guys and not communicating very well. Because it was totally unplanned. And yeah. we just before you knew it, a year had gone by, two years, you know, Danny was releasing solo music, I was writing books, you were living in L.A., you were, you were dancing on the tour. Like, we are all doing these other things for yeah. a few years, and... They're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, he was actually doing it. Hold it. But do you know what I mean? They, what? they laughed. <laughs> what, what did they laugh at? You said he was hey, dancing. He was in the West End as well. He was in the West End dancing. Yeah, yeah. He was, he, he, he was a good dancer. I pictured it that it was your tour, but you were just dancing on the tour. Yeah. <laughs> the thing 
is, though, throughout this, all this time, if you'd asked any of us, do you want to do McFly, all of us would say yes. So you, you're always... You, we you always still, wanted to there was do it. Still it's fondness. bad communication. You know what lads are like. We don't want to confront stuff. Can I ask you this, then? Did you, have you dealt with this yourselves, or did you go into counselling together? Did you talk it through, or did you just find a way of doing it outside of that? You obviously went into counselling. Yeah, we did. We have. We've never spoken about this. Never... Honestly, I, mean, I don't think well, we ever... we chose such a private place yeah, to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we never agreed... Thanks for our new therapist. We never agreed we would talk about this, but we did. The four of us went and spoke like, to someone. Like but... couples therapy, like family Literally therapy. Literally, like yeah. it. And because we... It got to a point where it was so ridiculous. And there are tears, there's serious emotion, because we, like... We love each other. Yeah. We do. And, you know, it was seriously affecting our lives and our personal lives because, you know, there was such a void missing from our lives. And now... To be back, you know, the next part of the story is our manager got us all together and just said, guys, I've booked the O2 in November. Who's, who's in? Wow. And we were literally like... Uh, and he went round to each of us and said, are you in? You know, we said yes, and that was the start of everything. Have you guys got a WhatsApp group, a McFly WhatsApp group? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. We hope it never gets out. Did you have one with, with, with Busted as well? A yeah, Busted yeah. one, yeah, yeah. that's... Yeah, that's oh, yeah. very quiet uh, it, now. Did, did they leave? <laughs> did they leave? Yeah. Yeah. And James have oh, left the group. Was... <laughs> oh, man. So you've announced the big tour. The tour is next year. The yes. 2020 mm. tour. Yeah. It's going to be in April and May. Tickets are on sale now. Uh, were you wild guys on tour ever? I mean, now I know three of you have kids, and, and Dougie, you've got, I believe, a lizard. <laughs> uh, no, not only, no, not anymore. I, the last uh, exotic animal I had was a praying mantis, and she just sadly passed away. There she is. Where is her? I can't even see it. <laughs> She's That's upside the down. Thing on the side. She's yeah. upside down. Yeah, she was. Uh, she's like holding had... a pepper army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess back in the day, were you wild back in the day before you started families? The thing is, when people ask us this question, I don't know what we put in our book. So I don't know what we're allowed to say. I don't know what's already out there. Did you guys ever smash up hotel rooms? I okay, I know. He, uh, okay, I know. Oh, 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 I have an explanation. They crossed him up. Don't up. have an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really weird. This is. This don't like me. It is. They don't like, like me. To be fair. And I was in Chile, and, and uh, I felt it was the last night of of the South America tour, and I, I thought. I'll be a good lad. I'll stay up with the crew, you know, and say, I'll drink with you. Because these miserable buggers went to bed. Yeah. Right? So I stayed up. Like, we I'll actually just... went out, we just didn't tell him. Just didn't tell him, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I'll stay up with them. And, and there was this drink in Chile called Pisco Sour. Yes, and I I've know. Ne it, yeah. never had it before. Yeah. Didn't know how strong it was. And I'm drinking it, like, whatever, you know. And um, obviously, you want to you carry the party on. Back, come up to my room, everyone. Yeah, all the crew, you know. And, <laughs> and the hotel staff just was like, no. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not having it. And this drink just... I, I have never... I literally turned into the Hulk. <laughs> I went upstairs and I was so angry that I wasn't allowed a party in my room. That I, 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 There was room service from, like, you know, the, a couple of hours before, and it was spag ball, and it just went poof on the roof. Yeah! <laughs> have some of that. And I kicked a chair. It was just a bit of a... You went it was embarrassing. I mean, I'll be honest with you, that's the least <laughs> wild rock and roll story. <laughs> 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 spag ball on the ceiling! <laughs> but you still... <laughs> You no, spilled some spoon food and you kicked the chair. I've done, <laughs> done more damage by accident. <laughs> the, Chilean, the Chilean police turned up and I was, you know, Never having a bit of argy In your argy. book, was it you and Dougie who had a double act with the mother and daughter? Oh, my yeah, God! That's, that's what we wanted. And that's in your book. Is that's that, in your book. In book. Never yeah, mind this bag pole bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a big night out. Oh. Oh, dirty, dirty that dirty <laughs> 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 That's the truth. You put it in the book already. Oh, oh right, we had a, a wild night. I put some food on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's in the book. I've never had to look at it the same <laughs> way. You've got to read the book. Yeah, you, know, uh, you had a threesome, what? yeah? No, 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 no. Come on, man, just read the book. There's a oh. door and a mum. Yeah. Which one is you have the That is a rock and roll, boy. Yeah. Mum or daughter? Daughter. <laughs> oh, Dougie was obviously daughter. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I have never been so hot on a sofa. Yeah. Is that what I got? <laughs> Busted a sitting there, I'm going, we never had a night like that. <laughs> OK. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> am I right in saying that you can announce that you are going to be doing some new material as well? Yes. yes. Actually, just before we came in here in the dressing room, we found out that we 
have got the studio booked in London for six weeks solid to record the next album. Wow. Yeah. What? And have you, that's amazing news. Isn't that? <laughs> uh, so lovely. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm Thank so you. pleased you're back together. The tour is on sale now. McFly's 2020 tour. The album Lost Songs, you can find them there downloading a new one every Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, McFly are back, ladies and gentlemen. McFly! <laughs>